an epidemic of a rare form of cancer. Even before the disease had a name, Larry Kramer was fighting AIDS. In 1982, he co-founded the Gay Men's Health Crisis, the first organization to advocate for the prevention and treatment of AIDS. Over those first couple of years, almost everybody I knew died. I'm not joking. It was like we were at wartime. While Larry Kramer began his career writing for movies, earning an Oscar nomination in 1969 for Women in Love, it was his advocacy work that brought him widespread fame. A self-described loudmouth, Kramer demanded attention for an epidemic in a community many Americans condemned. I'm trying to understand why nobody wants to hear that we're dying. His acclaimed 1985 play, The Normal Heart, later adapted by HBO, brought the pain of the AIDS crisis to audiences around the world. Oh, please, God, give us one more year. By 1987, more than 16,000 people were dead. Fight back! Fight AIDS! Frustrated with government inaction, Kramer founded ACT UP, whose protests of politicians, doctors, and the Catholic Church angered many, including fellow activists. I am so sick of hearing about our tactics offending people. Uh, the Vietnam War was not ended by people being nice. Uh, nice people walk into gas chambers. Release the drugs now! Those protests succeeded in pressuring the FDA to provide AIDS patients access to potentially life-saving drugs before they were proven effective. He's an historic figure, I think. I really do. The former head of the NIH, who Kramer once called a murderer, says Larry Kramer revolutionized medical care, not just for HIV and AIDS, but for diseases like cancer, Alzheimer's, and more. Thank you for saving my life. Diagnosed with HIV and hepatitis B in 1988, Kramer received a liver transplant in 2001. Revered by many, he's remained controversial with some for his early work criticizing gay promiscuity. And yet, for every one of those, there's a kid who rushes up to me on the street and says, thank you for saving my life, and that just makes me want to cry. So that makes it all, all worth it. A lifetime dedicated to saving lives by refusing to remain silent. Cynthia McFadden, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.